from my previous vlogs because today is gonna be a tutorial in math. So, this is for my students, for my grade 9 students. So, sana makatulog. So, bago magsimula, uh, shout out daw sa mga pangit na to. So, <laughs> sila yung audience ko ngayon. Sila yung... Ang ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon ay uh, apat na paraan na pagpo-factor ng trinomial. So, yung unang method na gagamitin natin or technique, ito yung tinatawag AC plus grouping. For example, we have here 3x squared plus 10x minus 8, wherein the value of A is 3, the value of B is 10, and the value of C is negative uh, 8. Okay, so for this method, we are going to make a big X. Okay, so una, dun sa top ng X, kukunin natin or yung i-multiply natin yung value ng A at saka C. So, yun yung method natin. So, A and C, so 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. And then, dun sa bottom ng X, kukunin natin yung middle term or yung value ng B, which is positive 10. Now, this time, dun sa left and right natin ng x, mag-iisip kayo ngayon ng value ng negative 24 that will give, or that when you add it up, it will give you positive 10. So, the possible factor of negative 24 is 12 and 2. So, ngayon, mag-decide kayo kung saan nyo ilalagay yung negative na sign. So, mag-base kayo ngayon dun sa middle term. Okay, since ang middle term natin is positive, so ilalagay natin yung positive sign dun sa pinakamalaking factor ng 24. So, positive 12, then the other one is negative 2. So, let's check natin. If you multiply positive 12 and negative 2, it will give you negative 24. And if you add it up, it will give you positive 10. Then after that, copy the first term, which is 3 x squared and then this time instead of writing 10x you are going to write the two factors which is positive 12x and then negative 2x and then copy the last term or the constant term which is negative 8 and this time you have to group this polynomial so your first term and second term you group nyo lang yan and then your third and fourth term group also. And then this time, hanapin ninyo doon sa first group yung GCF. So, yung GCF or yung greatest common factor dito is 3x. So, ilalabas nyo lang yan. At kapag nilabas nyo yung GCF, i-divide nyo ngayon doon sa first term. So, 3x squared divided by 3x is equals to x. At kapag nireverse nyo yun, 3x times x and that is 3x squared. Then divide 12x divided by 3x, the answer is positive 4. So using distributive property again, so 3x times 4 is equals to 12x. Next, same din doon sa other group. The factor of negative 2x and negative 8 is negative 2. So ilalabas lang natin, so ang matitira doon sa loob ay... Pag dinivide si negative 2x divided by negative 2, that is positive x. And then, negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, common yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, kaya, since common sila, isa lang ang kukopyahin natin doon. And that is x plus 4. Tapos, yung natira, yung 3x and negative 2 is also another factor. So, that's the answer. So, that's the factor of 3x squared plus 10x. Okay, now, let's move on to the second method, method of factoring trinomial. So, ito yung tinatawag natin lazy AC. So, you see, same example, we have 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. So, ganito lang yung gagawin natin. Ay, ng dalawang open and close parenthesis. So, yung first term natin, kukopyahin nyo lang yan, 3x, 3x. So, kopya yung first term maliban dun sa kanyang exponent. And then, sunod, katulad yung ginawa natin kanina, okay, so yung a at saka c, multiply lang natin, so yun ay negative 24. And then, yung middle term natin is positive 10. 
Tapos yung left and right natin, ito yung factor ng negative 24 na kapag inad natin ay positive 10 ang sagot. So yung kaganina, kung nakita ninyo, yun ay negative, sorry, positive 12 and negative 2. So ito, ang ilalagay natin dito sa part na to. So positive 12, yung isa ay negative 2. So this time, titingnan natin yung bawat grupo. So, anong pwedeng makadivide or common, greatest common factor ng 3x at saka 12? Okay, so, possible fact, uh, yung pwede makadivide sa kanya is 3. Okay, so, divide lang natin yan. So, we have x and then plus 12 divided by 3 is positive 4. And then next, Walang makakadivide sa 3x at saka negative 2. So, wala siyang common. Kaya, i-bring down lang natin yan siya sa 3x minus 2. So, yun na yung uh, factor na same example natin kanina using the lazy easy. The next method natin is what we call the slide and divide technique or method. So, ang unang gagawin natin, so, eto yung a at saka yung c natin, i-multiply lang yan. Kukunin natin yung product niyan. Tapos, yung x squared, kukopyahin lang yan. Tapos, yung middle term, which is 10x. And then, yung product ng a at saka c, yun yung magiging bagong value ng c natin. So, 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. So, this time, kung mapapansin ninyo yung uh, trinomial na to, madali na siyang i-factor kasi yung value ng a niya is equal to 1. So, if factor out lang natin siya, so magiging x, talagyan natin ng x and x, tapos, ano yung factor ng negative 24 na kapag inad natin ay positive 10 ang sagot? So, 12 and 2. Since ang middle term natin is positive, doon natin ilalagay yung positive sa malaking factor, which is 12, and the other one is negative. And then, sunod, ang gagawin natin is kukunin natin yung value ng A. I-divide natin siya dun sa second term. Tapos, dito sa kabila. Okay, then sunod, kung mapapansin ninyo, pwede may i-divide si 12 at saka si 3. So, copy yung X plus 12 divided by 3. And that is 4. At yung dito naman, sa kabila, ay wala or hindi sila pwede i-divide. Kaya ang gagawin natin ay slide lang natin siya. So, 3 times x is 3x and then copy, negative 2. So, ganun pa rin yung sagot na lumabas. Kasi yung last method natin or yung pang-apat na method natin sa factoring trinomial is what we call the tic-tac-toe method. Okay. So, gagawin lang natin, nalagyan lang natin yan ng box. Okay, ganyan. Tapos, if a factor out lang natin yung 3x squared, and that is 3x and x. And then next, mag-iisip kayo ngayon ng factor ng negative 8, o possible uh, factor ng negative 8, so ito ay 4. And this time, since ang middle term natin is positive, so ito dapat ay, pag minultiply natin, dapat positive yung lalabas doon. So, ibig sabihin, para mag-equal naman siya doon sa value na yung kailangan ng isa ay negative. So, multiply to 3 time, 3x times 4, that is 12x. And then, x times negative 2 is negative 2x. At kapag inad natin siya, ang lalabas doon ay positive 10 equal sa middle term. Middle term. And pag minultiply natin to, equal to negative 8. At kapag minultiply natin to, it will equal to 3x squared. So, ang magiging factor natin, itong bilog, which is 3x minus 2. And the other one is x plus 4. So, same answer pa rin yung nakuha natin katulad kanina. So, that's it guys. So, sana makatulong to sa inyo. And thank you for watching. See you on my next vlog.